WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 2 p.m. Eastern time, two hours until that closing bell. Let's check in on the markets as all major indices hanging near highs. Looking at a Dow positive by 175 points, trading at 23,605. S&Ps up 18 points, trading at 2,600. And NASDAQ up 67 points, trading at 68. 57. Quite numbers, quite the batch of numbers that we have there for sure. Jumping over to the Nadex platform, checking in some of the futures markets. Start things off with the crude oil contract. Of course, we have crude currently trading 56.71. We'll be looking for the API inventory numbers this evening, 4.30 Eastern time, two and a half hours from right now. And then EIA inventory numbers tomorrow, Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll see if those shape the oil market at all. Natural gas pulling back a bit from where we were just trading as high as 3.06 as of 11 a.m. Eastern time this morning. Currently natural gas trading at 3.02.06. Gold bouncing around a little bit. We'll zoom in a little bit on that gold contract. We're up as high as over 1284, pulling back a bit. Gold contract currently trading 1281.10. <clears throat> back to the markets and the highs we've reached. Check out that NASDAQ 100 chart. Just as about 4 a.m. this morning, up over 60 points, 63.80 on the futures contract, December contract for NASDAQ 100. And check out that S&P contract as well. S&P cash reaching 2,600 for the first time. And we also had, we'll zoom it in, there's that futures as well, getting above 2,600 as well. Jumping over, so S&P 500 surpasses 2,600 in record year of 100 point milestones. No matter what market you pick, they are up and they are up in a big way. So the benchmark gained 0.7% to 2,600.03 as of 11 a.m. this morning. Up 3% since September, S&P is on course for its ninth straight quarterly advance, matching the longest winning streak in almost two decades. Quite a number. Another, another. Um, I was going to say stock, but another cryptocurrency with some serious volatility. Talking about new highs, Bitcoin hitting an all-time high of 83.62 today. The wild, widely followed cryptocurrency briefly broke below 8,000 after there was a reported CoinDesk, a startup that offers dollar-backed digital tokens, said hackers stole more than 30 million dollars. But guess what? That didn't stop Bitcoin. New highs today in Bitcoin. Stay tuned. We got our man David White coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour. And of course, Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5 and our man Andy Hecht 5 till 6. Have a great afternoon, everybody.